Hi. Today we're going to learn all about how to use commas in dates. First of all, I want to point out that the order of month, date, and year is written differently in different countries. But we're going to focus on the month, date, and year format today. When writing a date, we use a comma to separate the date from the year, like this: May tenth, comma twenty twelve. Do you see the comma after the date to separate it from the year? Let's use it in a sentence. I was born on May tenth, comma twenty twelve. I was born on May tenth, comma two thousand and twelve. Let's try another one. We're going to the concert on September fourth, twenty twenty three. Where should the comma go? That's right, right here after the date to separate it from the year. But what if you want to add the day as well? You know, the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's write the date again, but this time including the day of the week. So, where do you write the day? Does it come at the front, the middle, or the end? It comes right at the front, and we are going to divide it into three parts: days of the week, month and date. Than year, so Friday, March first, two thousand and twenty-four. Let's put the comma here, just after the day, and another one here, just after the date. There. Let's try another one. The party is on Sunday, July ninth, two thousand and twenty-three. Where should you put the commas? Good job. After the day of the week, and another one after the date. Now, if you are just giving only a month and a year with no date, you don't need to use a comma, like this: May two thousand and twenty-five. We will move to Taiwan in May twenty twenty-five. You don't need a comma in this case. It's time for a quick quiz.、Yay! Where should you place the commas? Monday, January fifteenth, twenty twenty-four is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. The thirteen colonies declared independence from Great Britain on July fourth, seventeen seventy-six. Where should you put the commas? Time to check. Monday, January fifteenth, twenty twenty-four is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Let's put the comma after the day of the week here, and another one after the date. Monday, comma, January fifteenth, comma, twenty twenty-four. Let's check the next one. The thirteen colonies declared independence from Great Britain on July fourth, seventeen seventy-six. We just need one comma to separate the date and the year, right here. July fourth, comma, seventeen seventy-six. How did you do? Do you feel more confident about using commas correctly in dates? You did amazing, staying tuned and learning all about how to use the commas in dates correctly. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor and like and subscribe so I can continue to make more of these fun videos. If you want more practice, check out the links in the description. Thanks, and see you next time. Bye.